Taxed with the job of making Lagos a model state through innovative application of science and technology, the Commissioner for Innovation, Science and Technology, Ola Tumbosun Alake, at the 2024 Lagos State Ministerial Briefing, gave account of his stewardship in the past one year in line with the Themes Plus agenda of the Governor, Mr. Babajide Somolu. Primarily, we are the IT service unit at the IT service ministry for the Lagos State Government. And so every single activity, every single uh, uh, job that relates to information technology goes through the Ministry of Innovation, Science and Technology. We are also tasked with managing uh, the technology infrastructure for the Lagos State Government. Uh, we participate in science and ICT advisory, not only for Lagos State government, but across different sectors in Lagos State. Uh, we also contribute to industry uh, and academia uh, activities uh, through our work. We advise, uh, we liaise with many, many strategic IT and scientific bodies. Uh, we also are the primary uh, application developers for uh, the Lagos State Government. Uh, and of course, we engage in strategic projects for the states that are based on the governor's themes agenda. These are things like the Smart City Project, uh, which we have been implementing for a number of months to years now. We're also in charge of the e-governance strategy, and of course, research, scientific research and development in Lagos State. So as you can see, there is quite a full compendium of activities that the Ministry of Innovation, Science and Technology manages. Uh, but as the Special Advisor mentioned earlier, the themes agenda under the education and technology pillar, we have over the past number of years developed an innovation and technology master plan in itself, subsumed under that education and technology pillar. Now, under our innovation and technology master plan, we have seven major pillars. These are access, talent, infrastructure, communication and advocacy, policy, diversity and inclusion, uh, and of course, funding. Um, all of our projects are subsumed under all of these pillars with strategic goals uh, for the improvement of science and technology in the state, for the improvement of technology infrastructure in the state, to bring more people uh, into a baseline scientific knowledge and technological knowledge. Uh, and so we have been following this master plan over the past couple of months to years and we're happy to report some of the activities that we've accomplished and some of the activities that are ongoing. So the first uh, activity we would like to report is the Metro Fiber Project for Lagos State. Over the past 36 months, we have deployed over 2,700 kilometers of fiber optic cable in Lagos State. This has gone a long way in improving connectivity, reducing the cost of connectivity, not just for individuals, but for also companies. Along the right of way of these fiber optic connections, we have also deployed over 2,700 kilometers of fiber optic ducts. What this has allowed has been to de-risk and to reduce the infrastructure deployment costs for huge telcos in Lagos State. So think of the likes of MTN, Airtel. They are also able to utilize these docks, which will bring down the price of their own deployment and therefore pass on those savings to individuals like you and me. So ultimately, Lagos State 
is striving to bring down the cost of internet connectivity in the state. And as such, you can see some of the accomplishments we've made. We are also continuing past 3,000 kilometers over the next couple of years. Uh, we will be aiming for a goal of 6,000 kilometers in Lagos State, hopefully before the end of Mr. Governor's tenure. And, and as such, you can see that uh, Lagos State has the highest tele-density uh, connectivity in the Federation. And of course, there's nowhere you will go to in Lagos State that you will not see a cell signal. And that is also as a result of some of the work that we've been doing. So the Metro Fiber project um, has gone pretty far, and we are still implementing as we speak. The next project I would like to talk about is the Safe City. The Safe City project is a component of the Smart City project that we have been deploying. The aim and goal of this project is to begin to use technology for the management of Lagos State. And by the management, what, I mean, what do I mean by the management of the activities of Lagos State? Things such as traffic enforcement, things such as uh, management of traffic rules and regulations, things such as security, these are things that we believe that technology will greatly assist and improve the efficiency of the management of the city. And so under the Safe City project, we've been able to deploy over 450 intelligent uh, cameras. 450 intelligent security cameras, as well as number plate recognition cameras.